Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whenever you're watching this, um, we are doing a virtual presentation for our 8th graders to try to help them um, make that transition to high school as easy as possible. Um, I'm doing this on a Wednesday. Here at the high school, what we did is we all wore our uh, t-shirts or sweatshirts from our alma mater. Oops, wrong side. Uh, I graduated from the University of Dayton, so had a great um, experience at the University of Dayton. And a lot of that dealt with how we um, are dealing with uh, getting ready through high school. So here's important for you guys. I need your help with this because this helps me out immensely. Uh, the student, uh, these courses that you request drives what we do here at the high school with the staffing, with what teachers are here and everything else. So what I'd like to do um, is have you make sure when you're doing this and learning about this, you requesting classes that uh, you should be taking. It should be pretty easy for you. You should be taking a math, English, science, and social studies class. Um, you should throw in um, a... Uh, fine arts class if you're band or choir. Um, you could put in a um, foreign language class of Spanish or French and um, PE or health. Those are all courses that are good to take as freshmen. So your choices, there aren't as many. You do have choices, but there are they aren't as many. So it's easier to do your schedule as a freshman. Now other things, um, we take a lot of steps after we get everything that you guys are going to be in. We take a lot of steps to make sure that we get the master schedule right. So we don't have too many kids in one class and, and not enough in the other. So we make sure we have enough um, algebra classes and English 1 classes and advanced English 1 classes. We just need to make sure we get everything right. So it's important that you take the time, sit down and talk with your parents. You will talk to your guidance counselors. And once school has begun, um, changing your schedule is going to be di very difficult. So we need to try to get this right right away so that I can make the proper um, decisions in terms of teachers, make the proper decision in terms of numbers of classes to offer in each subject area. So that's uh, kind of what I need from you. Um, I wish you the best, and, and any time that I'm out and about, um, I'd like for you to just come up and introduce yourself to me so that we can make uh, your four years here at Kenton Ridge High School great. So I look forward to seeing you and talking to you guys um, in the future. Thank you. Welcome class of 2025 from KR to your scheduling meeting to begin your high school career. So my name is Mrs. Young. I am the young member of your high school guidance team. And Mr. Hawk, myself, and Mrs. Bennett, our administrative assistant, is uh, we are here to serve you, to work with you, and to help you get through your high school years um, with a positive outcome. We are here to help you choose courses, manage high school, and help you achieve your college and your career goals by choosing the foundation, the academic foundation, that is best for you. We're also here to encourage you and provide a lot of other services. So stop by, come in and say hello, meet us. We look so forward to having you here in August. So I will meet you in person as uh, Mr. Hawk and I come over and meet with each one of you to confirm your uh, schedule for next year. But I will be speaking along with Mr. Hawk to explain the slides as we go through our scheduling meeting presentation um, for the class of 2025. So go Cougars! Hello, my name is Mr. Hawk. I'm one of the guidance counselors at Kenton Ridge High School. We had a special day today where staff wore their the shirts of the university or colleges in which they attended. I attended Bluffton University, or at that time it was called Bluffton College. And like Mr. Hill, I had also attended UD and then Bowling Green University. I'm excited to welcome you here 
to, to KR and uh, looking forward to talking to you more about what you're going to need to do to take your first step into high school and that is selecting your courses for your freshman year. The next few slides I'll be sharing information about how to do that. For now, from my office, until we meet again, welcome and uh, I look forward to seeing you soon. Items in your scheduling packet. Let's get started and talk about the items that are in your scheduling packet. Item number one, course request worksheet with your teacher's recommendation. This is the form that you will use to complete a list of courses that you want to take next year. This form also has comments from your teachers indicating the core courses they recommend you for you to take. If you have questions about those recommendations, please reach out to your teacher. The 2021-22 Freshman Course Offering and Course Descriptions for Freshman Courses. This is everything you need to know about scheduling to be able to schedule on a postage stamp. You may need to borrow your grandpa's glasses to read it. However, this information includes a list of all the courses that freshmen may want to take or need to take as well as descriptions of these courses. If you see a name of, course, of a course you're interested in, take a look at the descriptions. Those descriptions will tell you more about the prerequisites that are required for those courses, as well as information about is there a summer school uh, assignment re also required. So take a look at those descriptions. Those are important. You also will find information about the graduation requirements. What course is required for you to get a high school diploma. What other requirements do you need to meet? There's two different types of diplomas and that is also described in that section of graduation requirements. More information will be shared about that in a later slide. Then to help you map out a diploma pathway, you can use the four-year plan. This is a, something that you can highlight the courses you want to take over the next four years of high school. There's a larger version of that on the back of your public module letter, which I know you're amazed, but also on this postage stamp you'll find information about CCP and Mrs. Young, the other guidance counselor, she will talk more about this later. In addition, there's that public module letter and on the back directions for any of your core course requests online a listing of student activities, a flyer for athletic opportunities, as well as a 2021 school calendar, a map of KR, and then, in, and then I do want to mention, this is not in your, your packet, but our course book for the 2021-22 school year will be available on the KR website, and that has a wealth of information there uh, to help you assist you in the scheduling process. Um, the KR website is uh, NELSD.org and you would go to Kenton Ridge as a school then under departments select the guidance department and there you'll find that information uh, of the 2021-22 course book. There are two steps for choosing your high school freshman year courses. The first step is to complete the course request worksheet. The second step is to submit those requests online. Step one, complete your course request worksheet. This slide shows you what the worksheet looks like. You will see a place to write your student name. Please write legibly your first and last name. Write the name of your first period teacher on the homeroom line. Then in the grid section of the form, you will list your courses. They will be either all year courses or semester courses. The English, Math, Science, Social Studies are all year courses and you may list their names on the appropriate line in both semesters. 
If you choose a semester course, like PE or Health, you would write the name and course code in the semester you want to take the course. Semester courses that have a code number that ends in an A or B, that's how you identify them. An A is a first semester course and a B is a second semester. For example, PE 1, its code number is 701A or 701B. A would be the first semester of that course. B would be the second semester of that course. You also notice that there are seven rows in the grid section. This is because there are seven periods in the school day for which you can take courses. You will have either all seven rows filled with courses, or if you choose to have a study hall, six rows filled with courses and one row with study hall written in. If you are interested in women's or men's choir, please check the appropriate box. Your re course request form is due back to Mrs. Johnson or your first period teacher by March 12th, Friday, March 12th. Please check if you're interested in College Credit Plus, the CBI Work Program, PE Waiver, Career Technical Center, Springfield Clark Career Technical Center, which is CTC, a student athlete, on or an honors diploma. This will help us in advising you and directing your pathway to meet these program requirements. In the comments section, please list your career interests. Finally, we would like to have both parent and student signature on this form with a phone number or email contact so that we can reach you if there is a change in these requests you have made. When you've completely filled out the course request worksheet, you have finished the first step. First step, continue. Things to remember. On this slide, you will find items to consider when completing your course request worksheet. It is recommended that freshmen have at least one study hall, first and second semester, or at least the first semester, but this is not a requirement. We also highly encourage students to complete their PE and health and fine art requirements by the end of their sophomore year. Finally, another reminder, please return your signed form to Mrs. Johnson by Friday, March 12th. Okay, we're almost there, halfway. Step two, enter course request in Dazzle login web page. This slide is what you will see when you enter the URL address for Dazzle. To do this, you will need your public module letter from your packet. This letter has a URL address for getting to the Dazzle website, your username, password, and on the back, step-by-step -step directions. The URL address will take you to the login screen. Here, you will enter your username and password. These are very case sensitive. Your password will not have a letter O, only the number zero. If it doesn't work once the first time, try, try again. It may take a number of times for you to get logged in. I've never had one fail. Once you're logged in, you'll see this course request search screen. The only step you need to do on this page, and it's important to do this, is put a check in the box, include completed courses, then Click search. The next screen you will see is this course request screen. It has a list of all the freshman courses. Use your course request worksheet and choose the course.
courses that you put on the form by checking the box next to the course code number and the name. A nice feature that Dazzle provides is a link to our Kenton Ridge course book by you just clicking on the name of any course. The course book will provide course descriptions, prerequisites, and other information important for selecting your courses next year. Once you've selected all your courses, click the Select Course Request button at the bottom of the page. Once you've selected your courses, you will see this course request screen. It shows the courses that you've selected for the 2021-22 school year. Please verify that these courses are correct, make any necessary changes, and then at the bottom, click the Review Request. Note, there's nowhere for you to choose a course for Study Hall. Dazzle will automatically add a Study Hall to your schedule where there is a spot or a space. So, if you want a Study Hall all year, you will submit six courses instead of seven, and Dazzle will add the, set, the study hall in the seven spot. The final screen you will see is Request Review. Please check that your course request form matches the courses on this screen. Then click Submit Request. Once you submit your request, you will only be able to view your courses. You will not be able to make changes. However, the guidance office can make changes on their side of Dazzle if it's needed. If you're having trouble submitting your courses online, make a note in the comments section of the course request worksheet, and the guidance office will enter your request in Dazzle. The following slides provide information that will be helpful in choosing your courses for your freshman year. Okay, you're in high school and you are working towards a high school diploma. It's a little bit different than your school experience up until now. So for high school to earn a diploma, you have to take certain classes and you have to earn the credits in those classes and you do that with a passing grade of 60 or higher. If you don't earn the credits that you see listed on this, you have to keep trying and taking the classes over again until you get them earned. So getting it done the first time is always best. So here's the requirements for English, for math, that's one every year, three social studies credits, which is world history, American history, and government, science, three credits, which is biology, and then a physical science, a physical science or chemistry, um, two semesters of PE, which could also be, uh, that criteria can be met by doing a PE waiver, and that would be two PE waivers. You need the health CPR class, which is half a credit or a semester in length, and then you have the financial literacy class, which is half a credit, a fine arts credit, that's a full year of art, band, or choir, and then electives for four and a half credits. So, Foreign language would be an elective. We have several science electives and social studies electives. Um, computer classes would be considered electives. Then there's the state testing requirements. And um, so you've got, you will be tested in um, English 10, your second year of English, Algebra 1 or Algebra B, Geometry, Biology, American History, and Government. So you need to show competency by having a score of 684 or higher on your English 2 test and your Algebra 1 test. Tests can be retaken. So in addition to competency, you have to show readiness. And there will be some different ways that you can show readiness. They're called seals, and um, there's different criteria for the different seals. Additional ways to show competency is in career-focused activities. You can enlist in the military, or you can earn college credit in English or math. So we will be working with you starting your freshman year and working towards meeting the state testing requirements. 
an opportunity that you have in um, high school regarding your diploma is that you could choose to pursue the academic honors diploma. So the honors diploma requirements are beyond what is required for the regular high school diploma. You have to meet seven of the eight criteria. So you have to have four English, you have to have four math units, but that needs to be the advanced college prep math because you have to get at least one higher level course beyond your Algebra 2. And to be eligible for the um, higher level, you need to be in the advanced track. So science, you have to have an additional science unit and your um, third and fourth credit of science need to be considered advanced science with labs. So as we work with scheduling and advising, let us know you're working on an honors diploma and we will be sure that you meet that requirement. Social studies requires four credits, the three that are required for the general diploma and then an additional uh, credit of a social studies elective. If you do it through College Credit Plus, you'll get a full credit for one semester class. Otherwise, you can meet that requirement by taking two of our high school social studies elective courses. For foreign language, you have to have three credits in the same foreign language or two credits in each foreign language. So that would be two years of Spanish and two years of French or three years of the same language. Fine Arts, again, one full credit, band, choir, or art. Your cumulative GPA, your senior year, must be a 3.5 or higher on our 4.0 scale. And then you have to have a minimum ACT or SAT score as indicated. Plus, you also have to meet the general diploma requirements of health, PE, and careers and financial literacy. Okay, the next two slides will be a four-year plan so that you can kind of look ahead, think ahead, and um, you can see what's required. And this, if you follow this plan, especially getting your health and PE done by the end of your 10th grade year, um, then you will be in a good position and ready to go to CTC if that's something you choose to do. As you look at these courses and the options, um, you'll notice some of them in red, and if the course is in red, then that means you'll be taking the end of course exam in the spring of the year that you are in that class. So um, you'll notice that you have English every year, math every year. You have a science your first three years. You have a social studies your first three years. So there are a lot of elective opportunities available um, time-wise your junior and senior year, many of our students begin taking College Credit Plus courses, um, some in the 10th grade if you're in foreign language, uh, most in the 11th grade. We have some students that are able to take just all college classes their senior year because they planned ahead and they worked hard. So, And that's college courses towards your degree that are at no charge to you. So um, plan ahead and um, work out your schedule and then work hard and we will meet with you and help you work on that plan each year as you go along. As we look at the 11th and 12th grade years you'll notice that there are a lot more choices even in your course subject areas. So the courses that you are able to take in your um, junior and senior year will depend on the courses you've taken as freshmen and sophomores in order to meet the prerequisite requirements. Um, again, just a reminder, your freshman year, I want to encourage you to get your health and PE out of the way because as you get into your junior and senior year and you have more elective opportunities, if you have not met those criteria and graduation requirements, you will have to fit those in your schedule. Students currently taking Algebra 1 with a C or higher will sign up for Advanced Algebra 2. Your teacher may recommend signing up for Algebra 2 if you have below a C this year in Algebra 1, but most of you will be signing up for Advanced Algebra 2 for next year. Students taking 8th grade math with a C or higher this year 
will sign up for Algebra 1. Your current teacher may recommend signing up for Algebra A if you have below a C in 8th grade math, but most of you will end up signing up for Algebra 1. Bonjour, buenos dias, hello. I'm Jamie Noyes, the French teacher and World Languages chairperson at Kenton Ridge. I just wanted to take a quick minute here to let you know about an exciting set of classes that are available at KR. We offer five years of French and Spanish at the Ridge, and the upper levels are available for college credit as part of the CCP program offered through Clark State. Both provide a student with a new way to communicate, and you will learn a language that is spoken all over the world or in a neighboring country to our own. Both languages are living languages that will help you travel, work, and even do missionary work or work for international companies. Several of my students are currently using what they've learned in my class to work for the CIA, military, and even attend school in Europe. Foreign languages offer students the opportunity to learn a new language, world culture, and the music, history, art, literature, and food that accompanies it. It also helps you get to know your own world neighbors. Studies show that students who study a foreign language only not only learn the language, but valuable study skills to use in other classes. It's also a chance to learn something new, something you haven't been learning since you were um, in school as a kindergartner. Through a variety of listening, speaking, reading, and writing activities, you become more and more capable in one of the two living languages we teach at the Ridge. Foreign language also fulfills one of the criteria for an honors diploma, either three years of one or two years of each. And contrary to what you may have heard, neither language is any harder than the other, and both offer the same opportunities in different parts of the world, some far from home, some close to home. With the return to normalcy on the horizon, the possibility of traveling to France or a Spanish-speaking country during your time at KR could again be a possibility. Once you start learning a language, your opportunities are limitless. Now that classes on Google Meet seem to be fading into memory, meeting in person will give us a chance to have a laugh every day while you learn something new. Each day you will leave class having learned something exciting and different. Whether it's new words and phrases, a song, a dance, or something cool about another country. What other class can you talk to your friends for credit, do projects, create art and music all in the same day? One day you might taste something new and the next day visit a castle or a museum halfway around the world. Regardless, you will have an adventure every day and you won't need to leave the room. A lot of colleges require two years of a language to get in. Why not take it your freshman year? That way, when you find out you like it, you can actually take all four years. You need a C in your current English class to take level one. Come prepared to speak, read, and write every day. The adventure is waiting. You eighth graders who are currently taking French or Spanish at Northridge, you get to sign up for level two next year. You get to continue the adventure you started this year. If you end the year with a 70 or better for your final grade, I'll be waiting for you on the other side. You can only imagine what exciting stuff you're going to learn in level two. Don't wait until 10th or 11th grade to try the languages. Get started now. Who knows? You may find you love the classes and want to take them all. I promise with a little work to parler français ou hablas espagnol. A French proverb goes, a man who knows two languages is worth two men. A second language, like music, gives an individual a whole new set of experiences and expressions of these experiences. Ignorance is lifted, knowledge is gained, and another life is born. Those of us who have, who have ever stepped into the waters of a second language know this to be true. So take a step into the water and join us next year. You won't drown and it will be an adventure. Are you ready to join us on a daily adventure? If so, get that passport stamped and sign up for French one or Spanish one next year. Remember, si tu n'apprends pas le français, tu n'apprendras rien. The Springfield Clark Career Technology Center is another opportunity available to you, and this is for your junior or senior year. So they have some great programs out there. Um, you will be uh, introduced to the CTC opportunity as sophomores and with the um, guest speaker in your English classes. You'll have an opportunity, hopefully, if we are all back to normal, of going on a field trip to go see those programs um, in person at CTC, and then the application process will begin 
your sophomore year, usually around February, but you begin your first day of freshman year preparing your application by attending school and earning your credits with your grades, passing grades. That's the criteria that CTC will look at, your attendance, your behavior, and your grades and credits earned. Um, they do not offer health, PE, fine arts, or foreign language at CTC. So we encourage you, again, to get the health and PE done your freshman year, fine arts your freshman year. If you want to get two years of foreign language, you need to get that done before the end of your sophomore year. Um, if you want the honors diploma by going to um, CTC, there is a career tech honors diploma. You do need to have two years of the same foreign language. Okay. Um, the nice thing about CTC is you have hands-on lab for half of the day, and you only take your three academics the other half a day, which is your math course and English class each year, junior and senior year, and then your junior year you have government, and your senior year you have your third science. College Credit Plus is a tremendous opportunity for students in the state of Ohio. Students can receive college credit while in high school. So the courses taken through the College Credit Plus program can be used to meet the high school diploma requirements as well as um, college credit towards the degree that your student is pursuing. So the law says that College Credit Plus is available to students in grades 7 through 12 and um, as long as they meet the criteria to get admitted to the school and to take the classes. So an informational meeting is held each year. This past year, it was totally online, and it's usually in, around January. So the PowerPoints and information for uh, this past year's meeting, which was held in January online, is available on the KR website. Be sure to watch both PowerPoints, the informational session, as well as the NELSD session. There's also links to different colleges on that same page on the website, as well as a list of all the College Credit Plus classes offered at Kenton Ridge. And we are very fortunate at Kenton Ridge to offer probably 17 um, classes in our building. We have three more that are in the process of being approved right now with Clark State. Um, so what that means is your student does not have to drive to Clark State to get their college credit. They are taking it, the class, at Kenton Ridge with a Kenton Ridge teacher that is also credentialed as an adjunct faculty member with Clark State. So the CCP classes at Kenton Ridge are college classes, and your student is, is expected and treated as a college student. So, And the teacher in that class is considered a Clark State faculty member. So if your student is interested in doing that, students, um, College Credit Plus, it's student-driven. So students, you need to get an intent to participate form from Mrs. Johnson and complete it and get you be sure to sign it and have your parents sign it. It's two sides, do the front and back, and get that submitted, turned in to Mrs. Johnson's by April 1. And then you need to meet the college admission criteria by applying for admission to the College Credit Plus program at Clark State and um, complete the testing requirement to be accepted for enrollment by the college and to take the classes that you want to take. So, um, the information about the CCP program is on the CARE website under the Guidance Department, and it's listed under Documents. Welcome from the Kenton Ridge Athletic Department. I'm Chris Briggs, the Athletic Director at Kenton Ridge High School and Northridge Middle School, and I have a few things I'd like to mention. Number one, please look at the Athletic Opportunity slide that lists all the 25 varsity sports we have to offer here at Kenton Ridge High School divided by season. Number two, in the middle of May, fall and winter coaches will visit Northridge and meet with the eighth graders. The coaches will discuss the summer plans they have for their sport. In addition, they will receive information about physicals and other important dates over the summer. If anyone does, does not attend Northridge, please e send me an email 
so your information can be passed on to the coaches of their sports that you may be interested in playing. Number three, very important. Middle school eligibility requirements for the student athletes interested in playing a fall sports at fall sport at Kent Ridge are that you must have received passing grades in a minimum of four of all your subjects in which you're enrolled the fourth grading period at Northridge or the school you are attending. In addition, they must also have at least a 1.67 GPA in all full-time classes. Number four, after the first grading period at Kent Ridge, students must be passing a minimum of five one-credit courses or the equivalent in the immediately preceding grading period and also maintain above a 1.67 GPA. And finally, number five, when scheduling, please tell the counselor that you intend to be a student athlete and we recommend that you take six classes, seven if you have PE. Please email me if you have any questions regarding athletics at Kent Ridge High School and thank you very much for your time. So the bottom line, how to be on track to graduate. Success is a choice. So we want you to choose success every day. So one year in high school is two semesters. A first semester, second semester. There are seven class periods in a day here at Kenton Ridge. We have a zero period for um, half credit courses of women's choir and men's choir. Zero period is before the actual school day starts. So full year classes are both semesters and it, they equal one high school credit. Semester classes, which are a lot of electives, health is a graduation requirement, it is a semester class, and those are half credits. The exception to that is PE, which is only a quarter credit for each semester. And you have to have two semesters of PE or two PE waivers, which is, um, and they have to be two different years, but you cannot mix, have one PE class and one PE waiver. So it's, you take both of the classes or do a sport or band or something for two years and complete the PE waiver paperwork. You need to have English, Science, Math, and Social Studies in your freshman year schedule and also your sophomore year schedule and your junior year schedule. Again, I can't emphasize this enough, how important it is to get your health and PE done. Freshman year is best because there's more electives available as a sophomore. Um, Take an elective if you have time. Many students take um, band or choir um, and foreign language. So, and then we strongly, strongly encourage all freshmen to have study hall the first semester. Okay, it's not required, but we strongly encourage that. And especially if you are doing a fall sport or if you are in band. Um, we only allow one study hall per semester. So the max you could have is two study halls for the year. Students are limited to two full credits of music as a freshman. So if you do band and choir, then um, that's your two credits limit. You need to get the health and PE in your core subjects area, um, core subjects into your schedule as a freshman. Um, you be sure to pass and therefore earn credit for the classes that you take each year if you want to graduate with your class. What we have discovered in looking at the information over the years and the number of students and the students who don't graduate are poor attendance and not doing homework. Because remember you have that t state testing requirement. If you're not in school and you're not doing your work, then you're not learning the material to be successful on the state assessments either. So take care of business, choose success every day, and we look forward to seeing you um, later this year when we come over to meet with you and um, confirm your schedule. All right, I'm back. Uh, just wanted to remind you about some few things um, before you finish up and get ready to start scheduling for KR. There are some very important dates to remember. Uh, March 12th, that KR request form is due to your first period teachers. 
Um, next thing is schedule adjustments will be made prior to June 4th. So if something happens and you have to change something, we will do that prior to June 4th. Fourth, you must have a note from a parent that is signed. Uh, parent signature required for any request. There are no guarantees you'll get in it, though. Now, freshman orientation, the plan is right now for August 18th. It's going to be in our auditorium. It'll be 30 minutes prior to open house, and you'll be able to walk around the building at that time. Uh, open house will be August 18th from 6 to 7.30 p.m., and the first day of classes at KR starting next year is August 19th. School begins at 8.18 and ends at 3.15. So make sure that you're here prior to that. Uh, we do have breakfast in the morning. Um, you can have breakfast in the morning and get ready to for your school day. Next year, we plan on being all in all year, and hopefully some of the restrictions will be lifted, and we will have um, a normal type school year. So I'm excited right now that we have everybody back, um, and I'm excited to have you as an 8th grade class uh, get yourselves ready to come up here to Kenton Ridge and make uh, your uh, four years here at Kenton Ridge uh, a great experience. Uh, it's going to fly by, believe me. Ask some upperclassmen. They will tell you that. So have a great day. Uh, always work hard and always be nice to each other. Mm -hmm.